Okay, so hello everyone. So uh, this time I will basically continue with sa ang presentation last time. So if you can still remember, we talked about uh, sources of farm power and we are on draft animal technology. Which one is this? Uh, draft, this one, slide 16. So slide 16. So yun okay let's tell them a slide 16 winter options zoom in let's see all the slide 16 at all okay so um when you say draft animal technology uh it means nga ang main source of power nato is actually ang animal so it's not actually limited to um, Carabaos, uh, we are already very familiar with. In fact, in other countries, if you can find here, so it's mentioned here, um, they are using even cattle, buffaloes. A carabao is basically a water buffalo, horses and donkeys. So anything a guyud guyurun or animal ang gamiton, it's it's a draft animal. So liama dilis. Maybe we're not very familiar with this, but I think it's good if I try to pull out some pictures, para you will get an idea. Uh, cattle is basically baka, uh, buffaloes, kanang karabao, horses and donkeys, you're familiar with that, and mules, camels, ang liamas and yak, siguro, maybe you're not that familiar, but I can try to pull that out so you can see it as well. Um, dito ni sa mga snow ng mga areas, mga mabugnaw ng dapit, yun, yan. So, mura mura gapon siya buffalo. So, in Nepal, for example, uh, this is a common draft animal, a kargahan for those people who are attempting to climb Mount Everest. So, that's the yak. And then, ang liama po looks pretty much like a camel. So, dromedaris ang tawag. Ani. Yun. Look at that. Mura siya duaan. So, it can be a draft animal. No? Okay. So, Padayon ta. Resume sa slideshow. Nah. Muna yung naka-problema. Okay. We've talked about humans. So, it's draft animal technology. So, uh, as of writing sa book, let me see my reference. Uh, this, my reference was published in... Wait, let me check, ha? Huh? Let me check. The reference that I had was printed in copyrighted in 1999 so it, it's a little bit old so in 1999 about 20% so that's the second part there about 20% of agricultural mechanization in developing countries you know? so it's uh, if say we consider if say we consider 100% ang total of course diba? 20% of that is actually contributed by draft animals. Uh, the other 80% is either broken down into uh, engines as a source of farm power or humans. Uh, when we say 20% of agricultural mechanization, this is actually based on the amount of power, not the number of animals, nor the number of engines or gidaghanon sa traktura or gidaghanon sa tao. But it's the amount of power being put in a certain farm. So that's in the developing countries, it accounts 20% in in the late 1999, no? In the late 1990s. So as mentioned earlier, the common draft animals uh, includes baka. So ang baka usually uh, in our case is ang atong gamit sa baka mainly sa Pilipinas are kuan for uh, dairy and meat but actually gigamit din siya ng draft animal it's not very common kay nila pa ang baka kuno is santulon so unlike sa buffalo or ang karabaw nga tong gitawag mas docile siya butan um kanang horses nga magguyod og tartanilya that's still draft it, it doesn't mean nga it doesn't mean nga real, uh, limited to the farm ang gamit lang donkeys and mules so camels po basta paguyuro ni mo sakyan ni mo you take advantage of the strength of the animal that's a draft animal already elephants uh, in Thailand in parts of South Asia uh, gigamit dito even in 
uh, India. Liamas put and yaks. Unya, draft animals thou are limited by the working ability of the species. Uh, what does that mean? Ang amount of work that a certain animal can accomplish will depend sa klase sa hayop, of course. Siyempre, for example lang, let's just give you a, a very an, an, an extreme example. Kung tahay kanding atong paguyuron, it's not a draft animal ha. Paguyuron at ugload atong i-compare against that of a kalabaw, siyempre, mas kamayra siya o maguyod nga load compared to that of a karabaw yeah, simply because ang kanding is kanding which is gamay and the karabaw is dako so that's one another is based on the species but na ay mga klase sa mga hayupan nga lay-lay sila bata sa hayupan daling maluya so karabaws for example ang ang work sa karabaws is is limited by ang iyang maluya siya nga wala I think wala man siguro yung sweat glands ang karabaw. So, palunangon sa nato. So, they are water buffaloes after all. So, you have to bring them to the water para mag-cool down. So, for kabayo, you cannot do that. Uh, you don't really need that. So, generally, ang kabayo po is ginagamit kung mga fast or kanang kusog nga movement ng mga applications. So, basically, ang point ani nga a statement is ang draft animals mag or rather ang work or the, the maximization or ang utilization sa so usaka draft animal is limited by the species because some species are generally smaller compared to the others some species have different working behaviors compared to the others um si papa sa una naka mention siya sa kuha before nga uh, while estudyante pa sila agriculture man punto iya ang high school naman sila ay major they actually used baka as daruhan. Ang problema sa baka, lagi ko no, masuko. So, idagan ni ang, idagan ang daro. So, unlike sa kalabaw, generally, buutan. So, probably, I think some of you have heard of stories from farmers of kamo mismo. Nga, ang kanisyang kabaw, o sa hindi ng patuo, o sugoon, labi ng kapoy na. So, that's the time. Nga, ato na kung palunangon. No? So, limited siya um, mainly because Sa, sa species nga itong gigamit. Okay? So, when we say draft animal power unit, it's actually a composite. No? It's composed of, it's actually a system. So, when we say draft animal power unit, it includes, so in this case, the kalabaw. It includes the kalabaw. Okay? Kaning gihikot na to sa liog sa kalabaw. We call this one the yugo. Diba? Then, ang kasya, kining yugo o kining na murag color niya is actually called the harnessing system. And then, this is the implement ang gigamit there is a farmer. So, we have three components. We have uh, we have the the draft animal. Okay, the draft animal, that's one. And then, two, um, ang harnessing system or giunsa na to pagkabit ang giunsa na to pagkabit ang implement dito sa animal and then third ang implement itself so in this case this is this this one is actually a tooth harrow okay which is connected to the draft animal by a collar ang kining collar is muning gitawag na tong harnessing system i think i have a few slides here ang uh, maghiskot bahin sa harness different harnessing systems nga gipanggamit Okay, so draft animal power unit. So, tulo o ka component no? Uh, di lang siguro ta modil o maayo ani. But basically, if we try to look at this one, this is the daro. Dibirahon sa to ang draft animal. Uh, since ang daro is moving this way, so what is actually making work is only TR. TR is the tractive force. So, three. TR is just a component of FM. Kaning FM is the motive force. So, muna siya ang part of that FM is kani siyang tanan ng mga forces involved. But basically, ang TR, muna siya may oppose din hi sa load sa ato ang... This is actually a moldboard plow. So, later on, maagian na nato kung napatay enough time no nga dili ta maka skip skip og klase so ay na lang paglabda og mayo ang inyong ang ulo uh, ang main nga 
me counter ana ikini ang soil resistant resistance or other resistant forces but basically here's the characteristic form for a draft animal unit no typically working time two to three hours per day so probably some of you are uh, have experience nga magdaro ang kalabaw maluya yun so, typical siguro mga two hours tinisa to a uh, palunang na pugka then after that balikan na po nimo siguro uh, typical setup is like for the carabao around 2 hours in the morning and yeah palunang then balikan ikahapon na po so other farmers nga dunay igong puhunan for example ay kay ang tao since ang tao pwede man mo pahuway kaya raman di man yun kapoy uh, in the case of taganta mong perfect example sa case ni Mario nga una biya iyang papa duha ko bukalabaw so while daruhan ang usa gipalunang ang usa dayon inigpalunang niya sa iyang gigamit nga daruhan ipuli na pud niya ang usa so siya total wa may magsego yon sa kuan so paspas ang trabaho that will only happen syempre o do na kay enough nga resources such that you can invest on on duha ka ga draft animals uh, typical speeds of around 0.6 2.8 meters per second so if we try to convert this one uh, it's less than 10 kilometers per hour siguro typical movement sa draft animal unit Un unless ang kabayo ha ang kabayo but it can run pero only for a certain period so just like humans nga tong naisgutan before if you can still remember we can do heavy work but for a very short period of time it doesn't mean nga continuous so typical speed is around 0 0.6 to 0.8 that that's def that's that's for sure less than uh less than what's this less than 10 kilometers per hour let's try to convert this one speed of 0 0.6 meters per second convert speed meters per second two kilometers per hour Okay, meters per second, 0.6. So 2.16 kilometers per hour. 0 0.6 to 0.8, it's 2. So around 3. Okay, so it's just about around 3 kilometers per hour. So it's 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 very slow. It's very slow. Next. Okay. Uh, let me see. I think. Do na kui pictures than din he and I think this is easier okay yo that one okay draft animal unit and then this one okay ang pag control kuno sa animal's potential uh, there are you break down siya into four ka control areas like there are areas that we cannot control so we meaning the owner or the farm manager or ikaw partial control or other aspects ng partial control continuation right think nishadere and then complete control so on some but basabotani uh there are things nga nga dili na to ma control as farmers as managers uh ato ang draft animal power unit so environmental adaptation no so it, we cannot control the climate temperature for example going back ang kalabaw uh, water buffalo mangita biya yung tubig so we cannot control sa soil conditions dama na o gahi ang yuta uh, otong na lang ta uh, ang timeliness uh, wala tay choice kaya kinahanglan ato yun ang igun siya ang uh, timing for example uh, ting pugas yung na, and then ang klima o ang work schedule we cannot control that one on the cho that's environmental adaptation no? on the choice of animals do not a partial control so uh delicia complete control because for example in the philippines uh, we do not have yaks we, we do not have camels and llama so we are basically just limited to what is available so we, we also uh, i don't think we have donkeys here so Philippines probably just imported for uh, ornamental purposes lang for display sa mga zoos but what we can readily find as draft animals or in fact gidevelop pa gani na sa ato na atay uh, balaod nga nagprotect sa carabaos is ang carabao ra gyud nga pwede na tumpilion baka or kabayo but most farmers would prefer to
choose. So, doon natin partial control. We can choose karabaw. Nga man mas, like I said, mas docile siya. Un unlike docile meaning, buutan ba? Unlike sa, sa, sa baka. Okay? Uh, ang choice of animals depending, our, our choice of, of animal will depend on Siyempre, temperament or docile, kato ko naisgutan, uh, pwede ka mupili o gulang na or bata ba. In fact, pwede pa ta mupili po sex. Uh, kasagaran sa mga kasagaran sa mga farmers, they would prefer to have a babaeng uh, kalabaw because katasan. At the same time, pwede ka, pwede ka makaproduce o anak. Kung lucky po, makani, pow powerful to o Kaso po, usahay, maldito. Uh, bago lang ko na-cut on nga, I think a few days ago, nga kining baka day ko no, kung paupahon, may isog, mangunay ko no, amo. No? So, upili ta o unsa po nga mga breeds. So, doon natin partial control on the choice of animals. In the case sa environment, basically, wala tay control. The use of animals, doon na po tay partial control as the farm manager. Okay? Pwede na tong iset up o team ka ng 1 to 2 animals, but I haven't seen a set up here sa Philippines. But in other countries, you can find magyugo nga duha. Ah. Let me show you some examples. Ha. Uh, okay. Yung ane gani. Oh, so for example, this one. Kabayo, duha kabuok. I-connect siya. So lapad-lapad po nga daro. This one, duha ka, excuse me, duha ka baka, no? But sa Philippines, wala, wala ako kakita o yung ani nga set up. Yung ani, duha, kini for example. Look, duha siya. So na siya harnessing system, nagguyod po siya o daro. Okay, in this case, ang gigamit kabayo. Kani, ang gigamit is baka. Duha ka baka po nagguyod. So na po di yugo po siya. Okay? Uh, buffalo. I don't know if doon na ba tandem nga setup sa buffalo or, or kabaw. Let me see. Ooh, what's taking so long? Naungot. Anyway, let's just proceed. Let's close that one. Okay, here. Ana, so, partial control on the use of animals. Pwede usa-usa lang. Pwede duha-duha. Then, we have partial control o unsay implements ng atong itaod sa atong animal. Uh, sometimes, maglisod ta. There, there is a certain harnessing system pod na pwede na itong magamit. Uh, sometimes, inappropriate ang uban klase sa harnessing system. Later on, I, I will be talking also about the harnessing system. Then, partial control on the health or periodic mga vaccinations. Finally, ang isa ka-aspect na doon na tayo complete control is pag-manage sa animal. Wala yung magbuot na ito o kapila na ito siya pa imnon. Unsa ito ipakaon, kapila na ito pakanon. Uh, Pag-manage, no? Pagkuha sa ticks. Uh, libon. That's libon. Uh, yeah, training. So, this is very important, ang training. So, I don't know if you're familiar. I think some of you are familiar. Nga, uh, ang kalabaw, dili siya ingon nga masugo ni mo og daro dayon, right there and then. Uh, normally, you, you start them young, uh, nila pa balsahan sa, guyod-guyod og balsa. And then after some time, anha pa ni mo magbutangan og yugo masugo ni mo og daro okay again uh, since this is since this is a a video pre-recorded video uh, i do encourage you to ask questions so uh, when i post this one in in our group uh, please don't hesitate to comment on ya i raise lang akong attention what particular time para i move forward na to ana nga, nga time such that ma address na ko unsa exactly ang inyong questions okay so let me continue harnessing system ito ang mention so again ang draft animal power unit has, has three components uh, one is the the draft animal itself second is the harnessing system 
and the third is the amp implement so unsa man ning harnessing system okay textbook definition ta set of elements involving a harness driving fittings and hitching system so basically a way to connect the implement dito sa draft animal okay set up again the draft animal is our source of farm power ang implement mao ang kumbaga tool nga atong gamiton to accomplish a certain task so perfect example specific examples daro ang daro is ang tool that we need so we can cultivate the soil or we can do tillage operations pwede na siya birahon ng tao so ang source uh, power unit na to is ang tao but we're talking about animal binuang na kaya nagtao itong paguyuron ang ato ang power unit is ang draft animal to connect the two kinahanglan tag harnessing system okay ang harnessing system kuno can be a collar a breastband or a yoke kaning yoke mo ning yoke uh, wala di ko familiar ka ayo aning breastband o collar but i have some pictures that i'm going to show you this is not common here in the philippines in other countries uh, this harnessing systems do exist okay so the harness kuno is the main part of the system that allows pack transport or for pulling a load or implement okay oh hani so mana ni kini ang color tanawang color i haven't seen one here in the philippines mura siyang ilugpit sa liog so ang load niya na dire dapit sa murag dinhi dinhi dapit dire dire dapit ta dapit sa kong headset mura ging ani sa sa hayop no so it, it it's a bit weird but this is appropriate for for some purpose uh, like i said uh, sa pilipinas uh, i i haven't seen this one nga ing ani atong gigamit uh, ang atong gipanggamit so far that we can readily see is ang yoke or yugo um kini here's another harnessing system nga for kuani siya uh, karting so kunay maguyod siya og kart Okay, so nine numbers no? It's it's a set up already. One ang girth na siya murag belt, then belly band, belt gihapon, breast strap ang three kani, halter four kaning ikot sa naong sa kabayo, then five ang back strap kini para nga dili pun siya mudagan abante ang ang kining harnessing system, and then saddle ang six. Okay. Pwede siya color, breast band, or yoke. So, kani is actually the breast the breast band the harnessing system. So, appropriate siya for karting. Mani siya sa kabayo. Kini sa baka nga, like I said, color. Dili, dili ko familiar. I haven't seen one here sa to ah. Okay, kini ang yoke. So, mani ang yugo. Oh, kini, tandem ni siya nga mga yugo. I haven't seen also like this dili sa Pilipinas. Kini, or din, mga neck yokes. Mani atong ipanggamit. Pero kini are actually tandem neck yokes. Kini withers yoke, meaning ari sa katong sa liog dapit, murag somewhere din hi, mo muhawid. No? So, muna siya yung pinakasimple nga, nga harnessing system that is being used for, for draft animals. Okay, typical nga mga animal drone implements. Common no? Ang common. Here in the Philippines, this is basically a reversible plow with a slotted moldboard. Uh, this is not very common, but we can find some of this. Ang basic jugayo katong ing ani lang na I don't know if I do have a picture here. It's kini this one moldboard, pero this one is slotted. Ang concept ani ini saka diri sa yuta mga hulog ang uban kung baga sagbot na lang ang mahabilin din ha. So medyo social social na ni siya nga daro. Uh, kini is mura ni siya how ragud gihapon nga na ay time so for for cultivation gihapon these are harrows so this is a rotary harrow comb harrow so sudlay uh, these are all for land preparation no uh, I I don't know sa namong year second year I think you came across with the terms nga uh, primary tillage operation or secondary tillage operation so um, daro are for primary tillage mean, meaning major nga pag break sa soil o inversion meaning kanang balihon siya balihon siya no and then kinipod pag ukay na lang o pag dugmok further 
so mo na gita og secondary tillage na pod kini particularly kini sa it it this can be used in in either whether it's a secondary or primary tillage okay i hope my audio is okay i'm not sure pa until i can save the video and or and upload this one okay we talk about engine power technology so di as sa farm power tulo pod ka mechanization technologies no human power hand tool technology na iskutan na nato ni kaganiha then draft animal technology ikaduha and then third is ang engine power technology what does this mean ang animal uh, ang ang human power or hand tool technology ang source of power is humans ang draft animal technology our source of power is draft animals third finally engine power technology ang source nato is an engine okay on some ng engine okay converts chemical energy in fuel into heat blah 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 is an engine a machine or a tool based on our definition okay it has moving parts no so based on our definition last time remember in our pre previous session an engine is basically a machine so what it does is it converts chemical energy from the fuel so ang typical fuels that we are using right now ang common yod is ang diesel ug ang gasolina uh, there are other fuels nga gigamit sa mga engines that are not as common so for example kanang gitawag nila nga high octane uh, basically it's kanang ipang ipang tubil sa mga eroplano o helicopters oh gitawag lang high octane pero uh, basically kerosene na siya oh no kerosene gas na nga mas limpyo so another is bunker oil pwede po da but it's not that common na. so for our typical day to day experiences we are just familiar with mga engines nga ga drive aniha engines nga ga drive og motor engines nga ga drive og sakyanan it's because it's naanad mata motorcycle it the the whole thing is not the engine but it's just ang makina lang mo na siya engine okay so we are more familiar with engines that are driving a motorcycle engines that's driving a car engines that are driving a generator set engines that are driving a water pump engines that are driving on top of one uh, power sprayer uh, engines that are driving on top of my line uh, engines be uh, and that one typical so typical uh, day to day we can we come across with is gitiblan regin asia o gasolina or crudo so the other ones are not very common now okay so what happens there how does it convert the chemical energy into into heat energy so what happens is ang fuel sunugon onya ang burned gases mo expand and then after expanding okay after expanding it pushes a piston to move and that the piston will also turn a crankshaft that delivers power via a flywheel okay uh, uh, let me see okay ang recording na ko is about 30 minutes uh, i'm thinking of managing the length of the videos para dili ta mag igit igit so i will cut it dire da pita and then i'll have another video to be uploaded shortly later no uh, again ha combustion what happens is that sunugon ang chemical i will explain this one further in the next installment uh, sunugon ang fuel typically diesel or gasoline and then after siya musunog inigsunog the expanding gases will push a piston and the, the piston the moving piston turns a crankshaft and then the crankshaft drives whatever you want to drive man so for example ang crankshaft is in a motorcycle the crankshaft then is connected to the sprocket and the sprocket connected to the wheel ang wheel karon mutuyok na mudaga na motorcycle so again for a generator set the crankshaft is connected to the genset inigtuyok sa genset 
mo produce daw kurente. So yung ana. Okay? Let me see. Okay, na diri this is actually a video on on how an engine works. I will show it to you in in the next video. So I cut lang ako din he so I can limit the the length of the videos into around 30 minutes para dili kayo hassle inig upload, no? Nya, yeah, sa inyo ha pod, pwede pod bite size ra pod ninyo inig tan-aw later on. Okay? Shortly later I will be uploading another one. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. See you again in my next video.